and financial services. Ken, up next from Ridgewood, New York. Hello, thank you, Suzanne. Um, so I'm uh, calling from the uh, over 35 group. Um, I've always been of the opinion, but I'd be interested to know if there was a similar study about the financial literacy of the elderly. And the reason I ask is because I live with my parents, and I see firsthand that they've done pretty much nothing to plan for my future, um, despite my dad's pension and my mom's social security. Um, they've had a really hard time saving. I don't know if that's the economy or uh, the generational thing. Right. Uh, well, I think it's, it's important uh, to note a couple things that you mentioned. First, there is a study. Uh, the FINRA Foundation has done a study uh, in 2012, and it's a follow-up. Actually, the results came out in 2013. It's a follow-up from a baseline study that was done in 2009. Uh, while I was at Treasury, we, we commissioned it and, and started it going, and it was released, as I said, in 2009. So that study focuses on adults, American adults, and so you'll see it broken down by age. So I would commend you to the FINRA Foundation to look that up, and you can get all the data you want on retirement and a number of other issues focused on U.S. adults. Uh, but an important thing that's trapping a lot of American seniors now is they've gotten um, uh, caught in this switch from defined uh, contribution, um, excuse me, defined benefit programs to defined contributions, which basically means in the old days you'd go to your mailbox and get a check and, and you knew what you were going to get pretty much for the rest of your life. Now all the company tells you is what they're going to put in. And when you get to retirement, you have a lump sum. What do you do with it? The, the experts uh, will call that a decumulation problem. Will you outlive your money? How do you spend it down? Um, and, and that's a very complicated question. You have to factor how long you're going to live, how long your, uh, is your spouse going to, to be around, and how do you work Social Security into all this? So to ask people without any training to pull this off is asking a lot. And so I would imagine your parents are probably dealing with some of those same